Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, today we are going to discuss about how to add an EC2 instance in a VPC using Terraform modules. So uh, coming back to my uh, VS Studio code, here I am having a folder of like Terraform modules. There I am having two different folders. One is for EC2. So in the Terraform EC2, I am having main.tf, output.tf and variable.tf. So in the again in the next folder, I am having a VPC configuration of my VPC. There I am having main.tf, output.tf and variables.tf. So coming back to the code uh, in my VPC.tf, uh, actually I have created a pre one video regarding the details of this code. So that code only I have taken here. You can refer back to that my previous video where I have created a VPC from scratch using Terraform. So uh, talking about the code of this VPC, so we are having here is a resource block where I am having uh, giving CIDR block and DNS host name and tags. So after that in that VPC, I am using an internet gateway. So all these things I have discussed in my previous video uh, in detail. If you want guys, you can refer. In this video, we are going to concentrate how to use these things in form of a module. So let's say using modules, I will create an VPC. Inside a VPC, I will be creating an uh, EC2 instance. So continuing with that, so again in the resource section, I am having a subnet. So here I am using two subnets, public subnet and private subnet. Both the subnets I will be using in a single availability zone. So for this video, so again, uh, AWS subnet uh, public, uh, there I have given VPC ID and CIDR block. So these things I will be variableizing here uh, in the variables.tf. So it is availability zone. So again, tags. So this is a subnet, private subnet, same. Uh, with the configurations goes so now i am using an elastic ip so actually i am trying to use a nat gateway in this configuration so uh, let's say for that gateway we need an elastic ip so after that uh, i am using a nat gateway so allocation all these things in the previous video i have explained in detail so again route table uh, one is public route table and another one is private route table Pri public route table i have associated it with internet gateway uh, using route and uh, this private route table I have associated it with uh, uh, NAT gateway. So again, uh, so route table association, the subnets, the public subnet will be associated with the public route table and the private uh, subnet will be associated with the private route table. So talking about variables.tf in my uh, VPC, so this is like uh, the region I have given. So again, the project name I have given. So project name I have not variableized here. We will be variableizing that in the modules. So that we will be talking uh, in the next upcoming section of the video. So again, VPC CIDR block also I have given. So public subnet CIDR also and private subnet CIDR also. All things I have variableized here. So availability zone, I am using a single availability zone, AP South 1A. So coming to the outputs. So I have used an, uh, VPC ID as an output and public subnet ID, private subnet ID, and NAT gateway ID. So these outputs we will be using in our, if we will be referring in our module, that we will be talking in the uh, module section. So my Terraform VPC model is ready. So this is the configuration of my Terraform VPC module. So coming to the Terraform EC2 module, I'm having a resource. So where I will be having AMI ID, so subnet ID, I will be giving in which subnet ID I have to create instance type. I will be variableizing it. So key name. So the key, whatever key pair I have created in my AWS console, that key name I will be using. So that has to be created before uh, I will apply the Terraform apply. So after that, coming to the module section. So here in the examples, in the basics, I am using a main.tf. So here you can see it is a main.tf. So there I have given provider as AWS, region as AP South 1. So guys, as you can see, I am having two modules here. One is a Terraform VPC module and another one is a Terraform, uh, sorry, EC2 instance module. So coming to that, what I have given here is, so first I have given source of my Terraform VPC. So where it is there? So the source is actually two, uh, two folders back. So if I go two folders back, I will be having a Terraform VPC. So I am giving it as refer this module. So again, a VPC CIDR. So instead of giving in the uh, module itself, Terraform files, configurations, VPC file, there I have just variableized it. Those I am referring it as here. So any value I can give here, I am giving it as 10.0.0 slash 16. Coming to the public subnet CIDR, it is 10.1.0. 
zero twenty four and two uh, dot twenty four. This is the public and private subnet CIDRs variable I am giving in the modules. So again, name of the project. So coming to the EC two instance, this is very important. So this instance, guys, should be created in that particular VPC. In this particular VPC only, we have to create our instance. So this is the main aim of the today's video. So coming to this source again, I am referring it as Terraform EC two. Uh, so this source uh, it is there so now i am referring it as vpc id so in which vpc it should be created so now i am referring it as module dot terraform vpc so module should refer module which module terraform vpc module in that the output named as vpc dot id vpc underscore id so the whatever output i am giving here this output so this is the output yeah this is the output i think oh, sorry output here yeah so this is the output VPC underscore ID. This output it will be referring. So in which uh, VPC we have to create the EC2. So like this we are mentioning it here. So again same as previous subnet ID. So same in the Terraform VPC module the output as public subnet ID. So in that subnet ID we have to create our EC2. So these things say remain same. So as uh, in detail I have talked about in the previous video about what and all AMIs and how we have to use AMI ID instance type key name and all those things. In this video, we will concentrate on uh, creating the EC2 in the VPC module. So using modules. So this is uh, regarding the code guys. So as you can see, our code is complete. So this is our Terraform EC2. So here outputs I have given as instance and public IP. So variables also I have given here. All the variables I have variableized. I have not hard coded anything here. So all the values I am giving in this uh, main.tf in the modules. So these things. So coming back to your Terraform VPC uh, code. So this is a uh, same code in what I have used in my previous video regarding how to create an VPC using scratch. The same code I have used here. So these are all the outputs. Uh, these outputs I have referred in my main.tf in the um, modules. So these are the variables.tf. So in the next section, we will be trying to uh, execute this code. So guys, now I am in my uh, git bash terminal so i am in the folder where i have created all the modules so as you can see i am having examples terraform ec2 and terraform vpc so i will go with the example so these are the these two are the modules ec2 module and vpc module so we have not given any kind of variables values in these two modules so instead we can give it in our modules file so main.tf of our modules file so by that we can easily maintain our modularity of our code so Let's go to CD examples. So there I am having basics folder. So let's go to the basics. So basics. So now as you can see, I am having uh, main.tf here. So let's uh, see what is there in the main.tf as we know. Yeah. So this is my main.tf. So module will be referring these two modules sources and what and all values I need I have given here. So let us try to so already in my I have configured AWS credentials. So now also I will start with the Terraform in it. So wait for I will wait for it. So now as you can see uh, Terraform has been successfully initialized. So now what I will do I will try to format okay done so now I will try to validate the configurations so basically the aim of this video is to guys we have to create an EC2 in an VPC so in the next upcoming videos we will be adding some more resources in our VPC so that a total like uh, project that will make sense success see the configuration is valid so now what i will do i will try with terraform plan so what and all i have what and all resources will it will be creating when i uh, like when i giving when i will be giving terraform apply all those details it will be giving in terraform plan so it is not sure that when you apply terraform plan every time it should be like uh, when you create terraform apply it should be created only sometimes terraform will throw an error so those things i think i will make separate i will make a separate video for those scenarios 
for that so as you can see here uh, what and all resources it is going to create it is showing so module dot terraform vpc will be created so availability zone public subnet so private and route table association route table private route table nat gateway internet gateway so elastic ip so everything yeah it is telling that it will be created so now we will be going with terraform apply so the uh, the code in detail i have used uh, i have given in the previous explain in my previous videos so you can refer guys if you are finding any difficulties with respect to the code this code also i will share share the repository in the youtube link and uh, for code details you can refer my previous videos so it is asking enter a value so yeah so it is creating so i will fast forward the video once it is created i will be resuming it so as you can see guys uh, it is showing apply complete 11 resources added zero changed and zero destroyed so the main of aim of our uh, today's exercise was we have to create an ec2 inside a vpc so like that so we will check with that so if it has been created or not so we will go to aws console from here so let's say we will move to aws console I am having two VPCs. So one is a default provided by AWS. So this is a VPC, so which I have been created. So it is having a demo project subnet, demo project private subnet, and I am having private route table, public route table, and I am having internet gateway and NAT gateway. So basically the VPC has been created. The next aim is that inside this VPC, my EC2 has to be created. So uh, let us see. So we will take an VPC ID. So this is a VPC. So 305 CC is the last number so vpc id we will check with our ec2 whether it has been created in that or not so we will go with instance okay so now you can see uh, there is a demo instance which has been created so it is running t2.micro so let us see in which vpc it has been created so let us scroll down so i think here it will come somewhere here. yeah see you can see vpc it is 305 cc demo project vpc so this ec2 has been created in that particular vpc so this i have created in the public so already like in, in our video we have used a nat gateway so in the upcoming videos what we will be trying to do we will be trying to host an ec2 in the private subnet so that it will be using the nat gateway to communicate with the internet so in the next upcoming videos we will try to add some more resources in, in our present particular vpc so that uh, these things in combined together will make some sense to perform as a project thank you guys thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe and support my channel